this this is the scapula of the ox so as we know the scapula it is a flat triangular bone it is uh, situated at the anterior lateral aspect of the thorax so it is anatomical position it is obliquely downwards and forwards so this is the right scapula and for the description it uh, presents two surfaces this is the lateral surface and this is its medial surface so this is medial surface and this is the lateral surface so on the, the lateral surface it is divided into two unequal halves by a scapular spine so this is the scapular spine on this scapular spine there is insertion of an important muscle that is known as omo transversarius muscle so this is the lateral surface and this is the scapular spine the area that is present in front of this spine that is known as that is known as supraspinous fossa this is the supraspinous fossa which is occupied by supraspinatus muscle and the area behind this spine this is known as infraspinatus muscle this is the infraspinatus fossa and it is occupied by infraspinatus muscle so this supraspinous fossa hai this is infraspinous fossa which is occupied or accommodated by infraspinatus muscle at the middle of this scapular spine the middle of the scapular spine it is broad and it is turned backwards this is known as tuberosity of the spine or tuber spiny here on this tuberosity of spine there is insertion of very important muscle that is known as trapezius muscle now this scapular spine it terminates into a pointed projection that is known as acromion process this is the acromion process which gives origin to the acromion part of the deltoid muscle so this was about the lateral surface now coming to the medial surface on the medial surface here there is a shallow fossa at the middle that is known as subscapular fossa which is occupied by subscapularis muscle the subscapularis muscle is present here this is the subscapular fossa at the upper part there are two rough triangular areas present cranially as well as caudally they are known as facies serrata and on these rough triangular areas there is insertion of serratus cervices and serratus thoraces respectively that means serratus cervices it is inserted here and serratus thoraces is inserted on this rough area here so this was about the medial surface then there are three angles present <coughs> one is known as cranial angle another this is the caudal angle and this is the articular or the distal angle this cranial angle it is thin and this is formed by the anterior formed by this anterior border and the dorsal border so this is the cranial angle now this is the caudal angle which is thick it is formed by the dorsal border and the posterior border so here this is the caudal angle and this is distal or articular angle this distal angle or the articular angle it is attached 
with the rest of the bone by a constriction this is known as neck of scapula this is the neck of scapula and this distal angle it presents a glenoid cavity this is the glenoid cavity and in front there is a tuber scapulae this is the tuber scapulae so glenoid cavity it is a shallow circular articular cavity that articulates with the head of the humerus ठीक and on the rim of the glenoid cavity there is a notch present laterally this is known as glenoid notch so this is the glenoid cavity and here this is the glenoid notch and now in front of the glenoid cavity there is a rough eminence present that is known as tuber scapulae this is the tuber scapulae which gives origin to the biceps brachii muscle and medially on the tuber scapulae there is a short rounded projection or prominence that is known as coracoid process this is the coracoid process which gives origin to the coraco brachialis muscle so this was about the articular angle or the distal angle now coming to the border so this is the anterior border this is the posterior border and this is the that is the dorsal border or the vertebral border the anterior border this is the anterior border this anterior border it is thin this is the posterior border it is thick on it is distal third there is a foramen that is neutron foramen is present and this posterior border it gives origin to teres major muscle now coming to this border this is known as this is the dorsal border or the vertebral border this dorsal border or vertebral border it is rough for the attachment of scapular cartilage for the attachment of scapular cartilage here so on the medial aspect of the scapular cartilage there is insertion of rhomboidus muscle so this was all about the scapula of the ox so scapula of ox me humne dekha two surfaces hote hain lateral surface ho gaya medial surface ho gaya lateral surface this is the supine this is supraspinous fossa this is infraspinous fossa this is the tuberosity of the supine and tuber spiny this is the acromion process this is whole angle that is the distal angle the articular angle this is the neck this is the glenoid cavity or ye ho gaya tuber scapulae ye ho gaya coracoid process this is subscapular fossa here and two rough areas present for the insertion of serratus cervicis and serratus thoracis anterior border dorsal border posterior border this is cranial angle caudal angle and the distal angle so this was all about the scapula of the ox thank you